This tip is all about how to pick the proper material for your project. The first thing to consider when you are picking the material for your project is what is its intended usage. Is it going to be decor, furniture, or will it be indoors or outdoors? Another thing to consider is the aesthetic quality of the project when you're done. Does the wood grain matter? Are you going to paint it? Are you just going to stain it? Clear coat? Does the grain have to match or is there a pattern that you're going for? Functionality is a big part of picking the material for your project. Does it need to be structural or is it just aesthetic and decorative? Is it going outside? Is moisture a factor or, you know, do you need to worry about bugs? When we're talking about wood, you want to make sure you're picking the right type of wood. You've got two, hardwood and softwood. Hardwoods are typically more durable, they'll last longer, they are also typically more expensive. A few examples of common hardwoods are oak, maple, cherry, and walnut. When we're talking softwoods, they are typically easier to work with, easier on your tools, and easier on your wallet. Some examples of common softwoods are pine, fir, spruce, cedar, lots other examples as well. Everyone knows how I feel about these are plywood and MDF. I don't like these. However, they do have their place. Their stability, size, and availability make them great for all types of projects. Typically used when you don't need to see them, or when you need some structural components, plywoods and MDFs have a wonderful place within your project selection. Just consider their usage first. Foam isn't wood at all. However, it's cheap, it's light, it's easy to get a hold of, and it's great for prototyping. Check over the wood for knots and defects. If there's cracks, if there's warps, if there's cups, you want to eliminate those or at least address them before you start working with it. Another thing a lot of people don't realize is as big a factor as it is, is the moisture content of the wood. So once you've bought your wood, regardless of where you got it from, make sure you let it acclimatize in your shop before you start working with it. With so many different species out there, there's quite a price range. So you have to factor in cost versus care basically for your material. Workability is something I think a lot of people overlook. They want to use the best or the coolest woods, but they're not always the easiest to work with. So consider your skill set, consider your level, the complexity of the project before you consider what piece of wood you're going to use. Finishing your project is something a lot of people overlook. Is it going to take stain the way you want it to? Is it better off just being finished clear? My best advice is to just experiment. So if you've got that piece of wood in your shop, take a piece of it, see how the finish is going to apply to it, and if you like it. And if it doesn't work, try something else. Expect to experiment, expect some things not to go the way you want them to, but with a little perseverance, you'll succeed.